Rise and Shine family. So listen, if y'all saw the recent video with Tyrese and his girlfriend talking about how they met on live, man, you gotta see this. Everybody's been asking me my analysis on it. Here you go. And, huh. yeah. All right, so that's the most commonly asked question. How did we meet? Mm -hmm. I slid in the DMs. Yeah. We linked up. He wasn't my type at all. Mm -hmm. My type was actually Paul Walker recipes. But I, <laughs> he wasn't my type at all. And my type don't, is not white. I'm just saying I don't. was more interested don't in touch me. Paul and every person here. Don't touch me. Um, and even when I met him, I was like, uh, don't, don't he's kind of old. Uh, I just like his smile. It's pretty cool. This, um, this one, this one his really personality, bad. his personality. This was, just went really bad, really fast. His personality was okay, but he I'm getting off live. He didn't understand the Instagram model um, thing, so he would always talk down. So on you wanted the homie, models. you didn't want me. Um, I never and, said I wanted the homie; just that he was cuter. You said I'm old. You know all this already. I wasn't your type either, so relax. And um, yeah, so now we're here. It's like an actual somewhat of a love story, which is crazy because I didn't know that I, um... yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm done. No, no, don't touch me. Don't put off this don't. camera. Boy, was that awkward. Wow. Now I've looked at the comments on some of these videos and a lot of you ladies are saying, it's not that big a deal. This is how she felt in the beginning. Some of you guys are saying it's not that big a deal because she's just speaking her truth. She's not with Paul or some other guy. She's with him. So that's all Tyrese needs to worry about. Okay. Well, I'm going to play this back, okay? It seems that you guys cannot see things uh, when it's happening this way. I just try to imagine a man, you know, saying that to a woman and then having his hands all over her and covering her mouth. I think y'all would be like, he's a misogynist. He's a narcissist and he's controlling her. Look at how he's verbally abusing her. Like, I think that's what y'all would say, but this scenario, y'all, y'all coming up with a bunch of excuses, but I'm gonna go back so we can watch this for sure. All right? You know what I mean? And, huh. yeah. All right, so that's the most commonly asked question. How did we meet? Mm -hmm. I slid in the DMs. Yeah. We linked up. He wasn't my type at all. My type was actually Paul Walker recipes. Paul Walker, rest in peace. Now that man has passed on. Okay, so why? Why say that? You guys may say, well, that's her truth. Okay, but why say that? The man's trying to tell the story. He slid into the DMs. Why do you think she needs to interrupt and say, he wasn't my type at all? I actually liked Paul Walker, rest in peace. Why do you think, why do you think she needs to say that? I often say sometimes people just don't know when to stop talking. They end up saying too much. And then once they say too much, they try and clean it up. But then cleaning it up, they end up digging the hole even deeper for themselves, which is which is exactly what she's going to do after this. But uh, you guys are saying this is not a problem because it's her truth. But he's on a live camera family talking to the world about how he met her. He said, I slid in the DMs. She thought that it should be known that he wasn't her type, that, you know, she preferred some other man over him, a man that I even hear no more. Now, that man, him and Tyrese was pretty cool. Y'all always saying Tyrese taking losses, okay? Back whenever he cried over not being able to see his daughter, I don't say that as a loss, but he was in his emotions and it didn't go his way. So right now, I think he has an opportunity here to remain in man frame and try to get through this as stoic as possible, right? But you can tell it upsets him soon as she says it, right? And then you can see that she doesn't even try and notice it. She just keeps talking over it, all right? But back to my, why would someone say this? Okay, so she's an Instagram model. I don't know what it is with women of today, but they always seem to feel like they're settling. I call it ambivalence. Look this word up, family, ambivalence. It's when someone thinks maybe they're not the one. Maybe there's someone better out there for me. You know, and this right here will haunt their mind and they'll sabotage the relationship thinking that there's someone better out there or there was someone better for them or they deserve better. Ambivalence, look that word up. It's like a killer of relationships, okay? Many of our young ladies struggle with this. So if they have a large social media account, they start thinking that they deserve some certain type of man. 
Now, she's met Tyrese. Tyrese is a man who was very successful in life, but she's not recognizing any of that. She's saying that, hey, she could have done better pretty much. She liked Paul Walker. Um, I believe a person would say something like this because they truly believe that. If a man told his homeboys, yo, she ain't my type, but she's sweet, trust me, this girl is probably so far out of this man's type and he's embarrassed by it. He doesn't want to be seen as someone who typically dates someone like that. So he's letting them know ahead of time, yo, it ain't my type. This is his ego talking. So she's still an ego right here, letting the world know, hey, he ain't my type. It also could be like a peacock. It's like a way to let people know, hey, you're not really solely in this thing that, that you can be taken, right? That this is not something that you're in it for the long haul. If I'm telling people, hey, she really ain't my type, but you know, it, it doesn't sound like I'm really into her, right? But then it could just be catty banter. And I would say, guys, uh, when it comes to stuff like this, or ladies, when it comes to stuff like this, you may feel like, well, I can do this caddy banter and it goes over, it's fine. And he may not break up over this, okay? But what will happen is if the man is really enjoying you and he's enjoying his moments with you, he'll be in favor of the moment he has with you before he would just ruin the whole moment by breaking up with you. As long as he still feels like he has your loyalty, he probably won't break up but you probably won't move any further with that man. Do you understand? This is when you ladies will say, he wasted my time, he strung me alone for years without marrying me. This is because the man hears you say that, he doesn't break up with you, but that future that used to be once so clear to him is now filled with blind spots. And those blind spots are doubt. He doesn't know if you'll be there long term. He doesn't know if you really like him. You saying that he's not really your type, it really just threw him off. Why would he wanna marry somebody who's telling him he ain't her type? that she was really feeling somebody else. You guys gotta understand, when a man starts thinking like this, his performance also diminishes. Now you're wondering why he ain't the same, why he's not taking you seriously, why he's no longer wanting to move forward because the, the relationship took a severe a severe uh, dive, okay? And it's really hard to come out of that, family. All right, but well, let's continue. <laughs> but I, <laughs> he wasn't my type at all, and my type no, is not no. white. I'm just no. saying I no. was my type is not white so she's she's trying to clean it up right trying to laugh it off touching on him he's clearly saying don't touch me right so she's gonna overlook that right to try and clean this up right it's obviously a nervous moment all right so she goes it's not because he was white i just liked paul more like you're not making this any better right let's continue Every don't here don't is. touch me even when I met him, I was like, uh, don't, don't he's kind of old. Uh, I just like his smile. It's pretty cool. You guys hear how this is getting all, the energy's just leaving the room, right? I just like his smile. It's pretty cool. It's like the old jokes go towards Tyrese, and then he's pretty cool, right? Watch this. This, this, um, one, this one really His personality, bad. his personality This was, just went really bad, really fast. His personality was okay, but he I'm getting it. off live. He did it. Right there, controlling. I'm getting off live. She wants to cover his mouth so she can keep talking, right? Now, while she covers his mouth, this is when she goes into about Instagram models. Like, she's trying to take a dig at him, right? Like, he didn't even like Instagram models. That has nothing to do with you wanting Paul Walker first or even saying this on a live. Let's continue. Didn't understand the Instagram model um, thing, so he would always talk down. So on you Instagram wanted the homie, models. you didn't want me. <laughs> um, I never and, said I wanted the homie, I just said he was cuter. You said I'm old. You know all this already. I wasn't your type either, so relax. You know this already. I wasn't your type either, so relax, right? And then I just said he was cuter. Like, nothing she's saying is nice, right? If I'm him by this time, I'm getting absolutely frustrated because what will absolutely frustrate you more is that she's not owning up to it. They'll continue to just kind of manipulate themselves out of it like they didn't just say something that was worthy of making you angry. And they're not going to acknowledge that they upset you. You understand? They're just going to try to talk their way out of it. I, I call it like in the paint a picture. I like to paint some type of picture. It's gaslighting. I, I can see you upset, but I'm going to pretend like I didn't say anything to make you upset. And if you are upset, I'm going to call you sensitive or, you know, weak or something like that because... We can't really handle that I said something to you that I need to change and work on, right? So you gotta remember, accountability is like kryptonite to some of these women, okay? They'll literally run off stage on Mark. You ever seen a woman just take off running after you realize the baby ain't hers? Like she don't wanna be criticized. 
She don't want everybody to say, so you sitting here lying on this man about his baby yo. And she don't want that so bad that she'll take off running. You ever seen a man running from the truth? From like, from like being shamed? <laughs> It does something to them, I'm telling you. They cannot handle accountability, I'm telling you, yo. I'm going to put some clips and just show y'all a bunch of women running from accountability. They sprint like Hussein Bolt, if you understand. Though this time, she's not sprinting, but she's flipping it. She's saying that, you know, you didn't like Instagram models. You you speaking down against Instagram models. That has nothing to do with the, the, the problem here. You understand? So it's like to, to not be accountable, they'll even try and bring up something else for you to deal with instead of dealing with what's happening here. You understand? But let's continue. Wanted the homie. You didn't want me. Um, I never and, said I wanted the homie. I just said he was cuter. You said I'm old. Mm -hmm. You know all this already. I wasn't your type either. So relax. And, um, yeah. He didn't tell her that she wasn't his type on live. Okay? Now, I don't know if he told her this privately either. But this is not something you guys should be saying to each other. It's kind of like talking too much. Why are you telling each other you're not each other's types? I don't, I don't really get that. Let's continue. Um, yeah, so now we're here. It's like an actual somewhat of a love story, which is crazy because I didn't know that I, um... yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, I'm done. No. No, don't touch me. Don't put off this Don't touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> no. Okay, your turn. Tell him. All right, so look, he, he laughing it off. He laughing it off. But you can see the brother was upset, right? So here's what I'm going to say, family, okay? It's a couple levels of this, okay? If I'm Tyrese and I'm genuinely upset about what she just did, okay? I'm probably going to try to re re uh, re remain calm through that, okay? Now, he's already had one instance where he cried about his baby which is completely understandable, but people gave him a hard time about it. So the world don't really do good with men expressing their emotions. So I'm thinking he knows that. As soon as she said it, I can tell he's probably thinking about what's the best ways to preserve and protect myself right here. Okay, and even possibly her. If he gets upset and ends the live right there, then it's probably gonna bring a whole lot of, you know, ridicule towards her because he got off so upset about it. So he's protecting her in this moment, but I think he's protecting himself. Uh, when she has her hands on him, if he really moves her hand, he's going to look aggressive towards a woman that he's in a domestic relationship with. And that's just not wise for a black man to subject himself to making himself look aggressive. So he remains calm. Even when she covers his mouth, he remains calm. Now, I can appreciate that. You know what I mean? Because I can understand that he's thinking about the future. Hey, I don't have to make a big deal of this online. Uh, I can you know, end this when I get off uh, this live with her, uh, potentially. And I would say even he may not even end it immediately because there's so much punitive treatment that just comes from breaking up with women these days. They'll tell lies on you. They'll go live on you and just ruin your reputation and you have to deal with that. And most often when that happens, men can't say anything, okay? When you see uh, Tia going in on her husband, okay? She'll be on there being caddy with her people on live talking junk about her husband. He can't say anything. He just got to stand back and let it happen. You know, whenever Lori Harvey talks and Michael B. Jordan just has to sit there and let it happen. Because if we respond, we look like the bad guy. So we just can't, it's almost like we just can't say anything. So I think he's trying to take the best way out of this to protect him and his, right? Um, what would many men do in this situation? Stay with her and just not take her seriously. Yep, right until the wheels fall off and she'll be sitting here wondering why he didn't marry her some five, six, seven years later because men have time. And frankly, they'll just be like, you know what? You for the streets and... They'll just take advantage of what little time she's willing to give, okay? Because she just told him she didn't like him. You understand? You may say, that's wrong. Well, ladies, that's kind of what happens when you tell a man you don't really like him. You understand? That was emasculating. It was embarrassing. She reduced him down to an object, calling him old. It's like she doesn't even know he's Tyrese. He's Tyrese, okay? He's, he's, he's talented in three areas of life. Humongous careers in three areas of life. Who else you know? Top of the notch, top of the charts in singing, okay? Music. Top of the charts in modeling, top of the charts in acting. The man has, is a trifecta. You'd think that he'd be valued by the woman that he chooses to spend his life with. But again, who a person is, who you think a person is, doesn't automatically mean that's who they are, family. A lot of times when men are successful by way of like career, they often forego or forsake the social skills it takes to manage a woman to manage a relationship with a woman so the charm that it takes the charisma that it takes to walk up and talk to a woman and get her to like you without money 
okay, without status, that's a skill. And a lot of these brothers, they don't have that skill because, I mean, for him, he's a celebrity, specifically him. Women are always gonna throw themselves at him, so it's not gonna be difficult for him to, you know, to get, get a woman. And so a lot of times guys look at women behaving like this as a challenge. And that, that sucks because what they should see as a challenge is a woman who still sees them for who they are and values them, but isn't so quick to give up her body. And that is the challenge, okay? Uh, not trying to get her to even like you though, because you're not her type and you're just trying to make her like you. That's crazy, family. Because that turns into her liking you for everything else that come with you and not like not like you. Not she she's not she doesn't like you. And that's to me, that's that's the biggest fear for a man, okay? Um as this video goes on, Tyrese is gonna talk about how they met, and they met at a very emotional time after a breakup. He says she has good conversation, uh, all that type stuff. I'm gonna say men don't make emotional decisions. Whenever you have a heartbreak, it's very important that you take that time to heal yourself so you can still be masculine in the future and focus back on your purpose and your mission. Going right to another person for that emotional type of connection, it often ends up in you moving with haste. You don't vet well, and you often end up with someone who does not have your best interest at heart. Do you understand? So <clears throat> he's made some emotional decisions. Um, people are saying he deserves better. Let me tell you this. When you look at his value and his accomplishments, it's easy to say he deserves better. But that is not how you deserve things. The way you deserve things, family, is by simply not allowing certain things into your life. By saying, hey, this is my standard. This is what I, I will accept. This is what I won't accept. And that, your ability to do that, creates what you deserve. Do you understand? So if Tyrese truly deserved better, he would move around women that talk like this, regardless of how much he liked them. So you have to, you have to stand, be in man frame, which means don't operate in emotion, but operate in logic, okay? If this person mistreated you and you know you don't like it, if you truly know you don't deserve that, then you have to let them go. Or you do deserve it. Do you understand? The things you allow people to do to you is what you ultimately deserve. Because if you of all people know you don't deserve it, why are you subjecting yourself to it, right? I'm telling you now. So if Tyrese wants better in his life, he needs to move away from women who talk like this when they talk like this, even if it means being alone, okay? Um, he's famous, he's rich, but he is underdeveloped. And his, undeve his underdevelopment shows by keeping women like this in his life, okay? By moving too soon, reaching out and courting women off Instagram. I mean, you're Tyrese. You've been famous since 22 years old, singing a Pepsi commercial. You gotta learn to protect what you have and what you have earned. You're not a normal person. So you're going, in, you're going out here meeting women on Instagram, it's really showing that you are in a place in your life that is really of low standard. You understand? You gotta understand, these women online, they're just a pretty girl. They, they, a lot of times they haven't accomplished what you have, so they, they don't have anything to really value. Well, you have all these things that you really worked for. Now, these women, they got, they got guys like you all in their inbox. So you're a dime a dozen now. You understand what I'm saying? So they're not gonna value you like you would think they would. So stop trying to chase these women or, or find these women on Instagram, uh, or on social media, uh, because of who you are. I mean, you simply gotta move like who you are if you're trying to vibrate who you are to you. You understand, you can't really be mad at what you're getting if you're going fishing in a dirty mud hole. You understand not that Instagram is a dirty mud hole, but like you're a celebrity, man, let's be real. Why are you sitting here trying to hit women up on Instagram? Like, man, find you somebody, you gotta just gotta be somebody out. I mean, I ain't a celebrity like that, so I'm just saying when the pickings get slim, that they just gonna have to be slim because everybody that you meet is gonna know who you are. It's gonna be very difficult to really trust that people are not coming into your life to get what you have. You know, so if you're just reaching out to women on Instagram, oh, you're Tyrese Gibson, like, Dude, that, that's, to me, that's not wise. You understand? So it really shows that he's not really in a place where he wants to do the work to get somebody that's comparable to a man like himself. So he's ending up with what he's ending up with. You understand? I always, I always tell people, man, if you're going to go fishing, you got to use the bait to catch the fish you're trying to catch. You understand? It's that simple. Uh, dealing with women whenever he's in a broken state. You understand? Um, you're gonna have to go through heartbreaks, family. That's what it is to master man frame. Sometimes you might really like a girl, but if she does not have the attributes and the standards you look for in a woman, you're gonna have to stick your chest out, toughen that upper lip up, and go ahead and move around from her because bad behavior could equal a paternity problem down the road. 
Okay, it could, it could equal her leaving you and taking half of your stuff. So never move too quickly. Always vet, family. You got to, okay? He said that, that he built up this relationship with her through just having conversations. He should have been asking questions, you know? And if she told him this in private, he should have moved around in private. It shouldn't have gotten this far. So for all of you guys saying, well, he don't deserve this, he actually does deserve this because he's not making it stop. Do I like that form? Nah, I don't. Okay, but I can't tell the man what to allow and not allow in his life. You understand? And neither can you. Most of you guys uh, are probably about in the same place. Okay, being mistreated by others and you don't really have the words to speak up or the backbone to speak up, so it still happens. What you allow people to do is absolutely what they will do. If you truly know your value, move like you are that valuable. Don't allow people to mistreat you. And then you will get what you truly deserve. You understand? Now, for all of you guys who don't think that um, that was bad, that that was just her talking, it wasn't her being controlling, it wasn't her being emasculating. You know, I always say, like, his mother could be watching that live, his peers, his friends. You got to think about this man's status. If he stays with her, both of their value drops. The, re the, the relationship value drops. People are not going to value that relationship the same with her acting like that. You understand? But anyway, for all of you guys who say that, um, you know, what she was doing was okay, it's perfectly fine. Let's see if you believe that when it's simply the other way around. All right, family? Check it out. So listen, y'all, she says that uh, I was mean to her, but I wouldn't mean mean. You know no, I mean? you were mean. Anyway, that is one of the most commonly asked questions is how we met. And long story short, um, I messaged him. We linked up. <laughs> I wasn't feeling her at all. She wasn't my type at all. All right. I was actually Get off her, me. her friend. Get off me. You know, uh, Get off. her friend is white, but it ain't because she was a white girl. So you it's was interested because, in my home? <laughs> it's just because she was... Um, you know, she had, she had a lot going on. You know me. what I mean? Long, pretty hair. Get off me. You know what I'm saying? She was cool people, if you feel me. And I, I ain't saying I, I liked her or nothing like that. I'm just saying, like, she was cuter than you. You know, she's a lot younger. You old. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. So this turned into quite, you know, somewhat. I'm sorry, y'all. love story. You <laughs> this know what I mean? went so. really bad oh. really fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm about to get so, off. I'm about to get off this off live. Off. No, <laughs> no, what, what? <laughs> oh, stop. We've been past that. I told you this when we met. <laughs> so tell them something about me, though. So I know somebody watched that video and still said, uh, it's okay. And they're going to they're gonna still continue to act like that with their man. Not tell him that he's special. Not speak life into him. Right, but they want to be special. They want to be the most beautiful woman you ever dealt with. They don't want you saying, I wasn't really feeling you when I met you, right? But they're not going to give that to you. So here's my advice to you men. For women like that, who, who just going to, they insist on still treating you that way. Here's what I say to you. They're not going to like this advice at all. But here's my advice to you. Keep on vetting. Yeah, don't close your eyes to, to, what, to the potential of what's out there. If you run into somebody who is of wife quality, leave her alone. Don't ever let a girlfriend stop you from finding a wife. Do you understand? And do not marry a woman who's acting like that. So just enjoy your time with her. Don't take her seriously. See, they don't like that. They want you to take them seriously and date them with intent. Don't waste years of their life. But they're not going to treat you like a good man, like a valuable man, while you're courting and dating them. But they want you to take them seriously. But are they treating you like they're taking you seriously? Think about it. You're not my type. Then why are you with me? Then why not wait around till you find your type? Why you got me courting you? Why you got me taking you out paying for stuff? Why you got me doing all this stuff? I ain't even your type. Wait till your type comes along. It's that simple, right? And if she's not his type, why are you trying to vet, why are you trying to date Instagram models if you don't like Instagram models? Why are you in their DMs? See how this works? But anyway, family, long story short, man, if you got a woman in your life like that that you know you cannot commit to or marry, you know you wouldn't marry based on how she's treating you, and you don't want to end it because, hey, it ain't that bad, but she's nice to you and you enjoying your experiences with her, do not close your eyes to the potential that's in front of you. And if you meet a wife, drop everything and deal with that wife because do not let a girlfriend stop you from finding a wife. I know they mad, but I wanted to make them mad because, they look, they don't have any boundaries. They're going to act how they want to act anyway. So this is what you're going to do. Don't let them control you. They're going to tell you, hey, you settle down and you don't look here and there and you just like me. Nah. Why am I like you and you don't even like me like that? Why am I think you special and you don't even like me like that? Man, you out of your damn mind. <laughs> Peace.